Hello, Naveen. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Do you know what the beat movement was? No. Do you know who Dandy Puma was? No. I know what the beat movement was, and I know a little bit about her, but I still need to research her more. Is it okay if I do a little rant? No rant, even if I say no, so just, just go. The beat movement was all about breaking the conformity that the United States had kind of adopted as a response to the Cold War and fear of being added as communist. One of the reasons why the beat movement was so important was because there were these people coming together to fight against the toxic societal norms that America had and against, you know, the materialistic society that America had become. It also brought awareness to a ton of different things such as women's rights and racism and homophobia. What does that have to do with Diana D what, what was her name again? Diane Du Prima, Naveen. Um, let me just search up a bit more about what she did. Okay, I found her. It looks like she was a poet and a very important figure in the movement. And I have her poetry novel Lobo pulled up here. And there seems to be a poem called Eve, in which she talks about like the moon sisters hmm. she wrote you lie with unicorn you lie with cobra you lie with yeti you are armed you drive chariots you are above me pregnant you wander barefoot you wander battered by drunk men you wander seeking for yams you wander looking for dope you wander hmm. and in loba part one from the same book she wrote she grinned bearing her wolf's teeth and as she bends eternally she raises her head See the young black woman riding a dead white man. She laughs, her things flash white and red, etc, etc, etc. In the first poem, she really broke the stereotype that women had during the 1950s because she she wrote a stereotype, she wrote a poem about women just being themselves, not contained by what society thought women should be. That kind of makes sense. What about her other poem? The poem you're referring to is actually called Loba Part 1. I like it a lot because she wrote of a black woman who was, you know, controlling a white man in a time where black people, especially black women, were still viewed in the light of servitude and obedience. I mean, wow. She decided to put the black woman in charge. The black woman was the predator or was in lead for once. I didn't like tell you a specific excerpt of the poem. Because it was a little too sexual for our conversation, but she touched on the topic of women liking other men as if it was an everyday occurrence, which it very obviously wasn't, especially not in the 1950s. And deciding to put this in her poem showed that she was trying to show support for the LGBTQ plus community, which is really amazing of her. She was making poems to go against what society view is, viewed as how women should act, what society viewed as how black people were or how black people should act she was very cool i'm glad that i was able to learn more about her through this little rant that's kind of interesting even though i don't care all that much thank you no sweat